Hi guys, welcome back. Here's example three. So we're going to get slightly more complicated. Uh, here we're still using the standard normal distribution, aka the z distribution. Mu equals zero, sigma equals one. Let's jump into the question. Question three. What percentage of the z values is above z equals 1.28? Okay, so let's quickly just draw, sketch a picture. These pictures get progressively messier. <laughs> Especially with my primitive tools I have here. Uh, I tried to do my best. Okay, so important thing is to use these pictures as a map. So this is the z-axis. The center is zero because we're looking at the z distribution. Now I want 1.28. Here's 1.28. Definitely somewhere to the right of zero, right? Let me use green now to shade the area that I'm actually interested in. So I want above 1.28. So here's 1.28. And I want this. By the way, these tails go on theoretically till infinity. And in this direction, they go on till negative infinity. We're really not interested in anything too much further than three or four standard deviations. Okay, so the idea here is that at above, so you can imagine this tail gets very, very thin to the point where it's imperceptible, so that's why we don't draw it more than this. I want this area. Now, if you think back to the other videos, up to now, we were always interested in an area that was here from zero to some number or from zero to some negative number right and that gave that zero gave us kind of an anchor place to when we went to our table here we're losing our anchor okay so let me tell you how we're gonna go about this since our table gives us the area from zero to some number to some z value and in this case 1.28 if we looked up 1.28 what we would get would be this okay let's look up 1.28 here's 1.2 and here's 0.08 and the number we're getting here is 39.97 percent remember this picture always reminds you what this number 3997 is that's saying from zero to 1.28 is 39.97 percent okay that's not what we want here let's go back to the picture with that number okay that is this okay clearly if you drew a picture you saw that this is not what you want this is what you want okay so we have to use we have to do a little what I call aerobics here normal table aerobics or Z table aerobics what do I mean by that and what I mean by that is that the tables not gonna give us exactly what we want we have to do a little flip or sometimes a couple flips in our mind to get to actually what we do want but this number even though it's not what we want is on the path to what we want because of a couple basic principles of the normal distribution which I showed you in an introduction to the anatomy of the normal distribution where we talked about all normal distributions and all probability distributions in general have under them 100% of the data is under this curve in other words if I were to shade from negative infinity to positive infinity all this area is equal to 100 percent or 1 depending on if you're writing things as a percentage or not I typically allow people to do either as long as they know how to go in between the two and know that this equals this okay so the area under the curve is 1 that's with all distributions probability distributions okay now furthermore with the normal distributions because it's symmet they're symmetric half of the area is to the right so half of one is to the right 50 percent or 0.5 and half is to the left of mu whatever mu is in our case mu was zero right 
because that's what the distribution that we're using. Okay? But whatever mu is, 50% of the day is going to be to the right of the mu, 50% is going to be to the left, and it's perfectly symmetric. So notice 0.5 and 0.5 add up to 1. So the whole area is 1. 50 is on this side, 50 is on this side. Okay? Now, knowing that information, let's go back to our question. If we know that the area to the right of 0 is 50%, or 0.5 and we know that the area that we don't want in other words this guy over here this stuff right here that th that we just got over here um, from the table right this guy over here this is up to what we want but we want this side of it right as our picture shows we want this right here right so in order to get this, even though the table is giving us this, what we do is we know that this whole side, this whole half is 50% 50, 50 or 0.5. The part that we don't want, the table told us, is 39.97. So let's take 39.97 away from 0.5, and then we'll be left with exactly what we want. Okay. So we'll do a little subtraction here, and we'll get 10.03%. Okay? So now let's, let's think of that. Let's think of this, okay? Let me do a little cleaning up here, and I'm going to go through this again. Let me get rid of these guys. <clears throat> and let's draw a brand new picture here of what, what we basically, a recap. By the way, if you, if you get this now, okay great okay you understand it you can go on to question four uh, subsequent videos okay but if you uh, wanted just a little recap with a picture here what what we just did here we go we went here's our normal distribution it's supposed to be symmetric as I said my tools are primitive so I'm trying here here was the picture we were looking at here's 1.28 we know that the total area to the right of zero, which is our mean, is 50%, or 0.5. Okay, that's where I get this guy from, 0.5. This is equal to this, okay? Then we know that the part that we want is the tail, what we call the tail, as opposed to the body. Okay, we want the tail in this example because that's what it asks us for. Now, in order to get the tail, when the table gives us the body, we, we look up 1.28 and we get 39.97%. And we know from the picture on the table, right, that th that, that 39.97 is this area here. That's not what we want. So in order to get rid of what we don't want, the 39.97, and just be left with what we do want, which is the tail over here. What we do is we do 50% minus 39.97%. And what that's doing is that's taking away this guy and only leaving this part. Okay, so we get 10.03%. Now, 10.03% is our final answer. Now, let's just do a backwards check now. 10.03% plus 39.97% should add up to this whole, this is a plus, not a multiplication, should add up to 50, right? Because this and this together make up this whole half and we know that this half has to be well 50 percent right okay that's just the basic anatomy of the, the normal distribution and they do they add up to exactly 50 percent so that's how you can check your answer all right so i hope this was helpful this was the first question where we let go of zero z equals zero 
and we started to ask tail probabilities as opposed to body probabilities okay now there's a couple other versions of these questions I want to go through before I get into a, a real example with x values so I hope this one was helpful uh, if you've missed any of the early ones please go back and check them out okay if not go on to question four and beyond uh, make sure to subscribe and see you next time